Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to this week's episode of my Stoneblock 3 playthrough. And in today's episode, we're going to be jumping into machines. And if we have enough resources for it, we're going to have quite a few machines in our collection. We're going to jump into some more creates. We're also going to tinker around with more power production and storage. So let's jump right into it, shall we? From the list of things that I have written down for this week's episode is last episode we jumped in and we started the production of vines. We have a bucket of water and right now we are going to be making some rubber because we are going to be jumping into power so in thermal redstone flux cells lead electron we've got both of them so these bees they will randomly spawn and the fun part about these bees is that if we wait a few seconds they will randomly drop items they could be high tier, they could be low tier, they could just be useless. But there's always a chance that we could get something useful. So if we wait here for just a moment, the bee should start dropping items. There we go. Please, IO, item card. Okay. We've got a redstone card, we've got two fluid and two item cards. They're going to be very useful later. Like everything else, they will be useful later. So let's get some more water. And I'm going to do this just a few more times. So now we have enough rubber. Let's see what else we're going to need. So we're going to need a fair bit of redstone, a bit of gold. Electrum, which we actually got by accident. If I remember correctly, yep. Yeah. We've got plenty of Electrum, which is a combination of gold and silver. Last time I tried to mass melt a lot of these, I accidentally mixed a few. And for those people who are wondering, I have done a lot of digging off camera. Uh, I have dug over 700 blocks in that direction. As you can see on the map, I have made it all the way over here. Collecting resources and anything else I came across. I haven't actually explored these structures because I wanted to explore those on camera for you guys. If we explore out far enough, we actually have nether dungeons. And this, by the looks of it, this is where we're going to find all the nether mobs. Because in this mod pack, nether portals are disabled. So I have added a few more cogs to this because we're actually going to be making a rolling machine and a mixer because we're going to need a mixer to actually get soul sand and for soul sand we're going to need to combine sand mob soul and water because if we wash soul sand we get nether quartz, and we need nether quartz to get rose quartz, and rose quartz to get polished rose quartz. We need them for electron tubes, because we need them to get uh, mechanical crafters, and we need mechanical crafters so we can make grindstones, and grindstones is what we need to get every other or that we're going to need to make all of our different machineries. We're going to need those resources mainly for all of my mechanism 
and mechanism is our end goal. Something else I did off camera is I added another auto hammer connected to my sand so we can actually get a lot of dust purely because if we take that dust and we wash it right now this is our only source of redstone so if we wash this up we're going to be getting a lot of redstone if we wash this up it's taken a little while because there's quite a few stacks of it and just like that we now have a stack of redstone easy as that easy as that the only downfall of it is the fact that these hand cranks absolutely eat up your hunger and I've done this previously so now we have almost two stacks of redstone which we're gonna need we're gonna take that redstone we're going to top up our iron we're gonna need some gold electrum and protect lead cook our rubber and once that's finished cooking we can actually make our first well future zelcon needed to step in here because i just realized that at the end of this clip there's a little bit missing so in the clip i am trying to explain that right now this is my first power battery basically so moving on i hope you've enjoyed the video thus far let me know any comments down below your thoughts and let's get back to it shall we we're going to be able to actually store the power that we crafted last episode so that is going to be very useful because hopefully we are going to be in a good place when it comes to power because we have plans to craft some machines and yes i stutter a lot i stutter it's okay to stutter there's redstone flux coil what else do we need there's the frame there it is. Done. West, where is it? What are we going to get as reward? We got an advanced item collector. That is actually a good reward because using that, when we get around to farming mobs, that's what we're going to use. So if we relocate this, um, no, that's not what I want. Is there... There is actually a hammer for it. Iron cog. One, two, three. Okay. We're going to get the crescent hammer because... This is basically an essential item when it comes to any kind of thermal... Well, any kind of thermal machinery. If I put that in there. Input. There we go. We now have a source of power and a way to store it. We can store 1 million RF in this power cell. So now we have a source of power. We have energy pipes to transfer power. So the next item on our list 
is actually a rolling machine because we need the rolling machine to be able to make the wrench that goes with the pipes that we've got which requires brass brass requires brass is actually made combining z uh, one zinc and one copper so we can get that brewing one copper to one zinc we have plenty of zinc and i'm pretty certain these are switched off they are bam bam and while they are brewing away it's a stick you're a stick so right now while that is smelting away we are going to grab andesite alloy i've already got it marked down here rolling machine we're going to need andesite casing two shafts two iron sheets there's one there's two and set casing shaft is easily made like that what else did we need that's all so we can make that we'll keep the shafts and I'm pretty certain I have a leftover gearbox which I'm gonna need to put this in place bam and bam we now have a rolling mill Okay, we have five blocks and five ingots of brass. One, two, actually we'll just automate it for now. We need two of them. We also need two flint, which is actually craftable. Flint being craftable kind of takes the whole hassle out of having to dig uh, gravel to get it. So if I remember correctly, they just get dropped to the top and then we wait until these particles disappear. And then it's the same as the millstone. We just right click it and we will actually get what we need. So if we put that there, copper, uh, no, brass. Correction. Brass and flint. There is our wrench to go with our energy pipes. That is a quest reward. What are we going to get? We got an anvil. Funny enough, we don't actually need that right now. What have we got so far? We've got 400,000 RF. And it is still going. So the only downside about a sterling dynamo is actually it's a burnable. And it being a burnable, this will continue burning. Even if this is full, it will continue burning and use up all your fuel, basically. So you always have to keep an eye on this because can't exactly rig it up with redstone just yet so I've already bookmarked our next two items that we are going to be collecting so along my mining travels I was lucky enough to get a little bit of tin so I think we're going to be able to have enough to build out two thermal machines our pulverizer and our redstone furnace because we've got 
the automation of gravel as of right now. All I have to do to build up a collection of this, all I have to do is just break this one and store it in the chest next door. And this will fill up. And I can use all of these in the millstone to get our coal. Coal, sterling, sterling power, power to the machines. So I'm pretty sure, yep, iron, iron nuggets. And for the two machines, we're going to need two gears. And then we put this back because we don't have a lot of it. So we don't want to use it all up all at once. What else do we need? We'll do the redstone furnace first. So we're going to need more redstone, gold, more iron. I think it's going to be a good idea to just... Bam. We're just going to have a stack of glass for when we need it. So let's collect the resources we need. We're going to need iron, gold, we're going to grab our redstone. We are going to need copper because both the red, uh, the redstone furnace and the pulverizer need copper. Flint, bricks, we have plenty of this, which we can melt away. Do I have, I already have some I prepared earlier. We're going to turn them into bricks. We're going to need just a few more of these. Those are our copper gears. We can put them over there. We're going to need two coils. We're going to need our flints for our pulverizer. We're going to need a piston. Also for our pulverizer. And if we're able to, one, two. So if we, we can make our redstone furnace and now our pulverizer. So that's two machines. If we go to our thermal series, let's get that reward and that reward. So what did we get? We got mining laser lens, compacting drawers. Compacting drawers are going to be a big help later on. Everything we've been getting from rewards are always later on. Later on, later on, later on. <sighs> How are we going along here? 650. So now that we have our energy source, the way to transport, we're going to go one, two. So if we can figure our right side to be the output, that should connect. I'll make it extract just to be sure. So we give, so we're going to need our pulverizer and then our redstone furnace, because if we configure this correctly, auto output, we're to go input from the top, output to the right. Now furnace, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go auto input and auto output. So we're going to accept items from the left and extract from the right. 
So now we can actually put a hopper at the top. It's going to pulverize. It's going to smelt. And it's going to output in the side. That's full. That's full. That's still filling. We have successfully got our first lot of automated machines. So that, ladies and gents, I can mark off from our list. One, two, three. That's four items we have now marked off the list for this episode. So we've only got two left. Two left on my list, which is a create mixer. And if we have enough resources, we're going to jump into and get an igneous extruder because that's going to be handy to have. Actually, thinking about it, we don't need an igneous extruder just yet because that is basically another form of cobble gen, which we don't need right now because of previous rewards, we have both a tier one and a tier three on top of the one we've already got. So we can already mark that off our list and focus more on our mixer, which if we, so we're gonna need end site casing. We can put them in there. We can grab our andesite alloy, which we can, might as well make some more of. Think. Yeah, and I kind of made a few drawers just to make things a little bit easier. We do that. I think that was a little much. So we can put all that back. So to make our andesite frames, uh, yep, we need to strip these. Add a little bit of andesite alloy, and we are now good to go. Kind of figured I'd make a couple because with creates we go through these quite quickly. So that's one item left we need. Whisk, one, two, three, four, five. We need five flat iron. This definitely needs to be uh, automated, just, just a little bit. Which reminds me, if we will make our mixer, and then we will add, I'll take the shafts, small curve. I can just I have a shaft. There we go. Whisk. We'll take the whisk, put that at the bottom, put that at the top, stick a cog there, and we now have a mechanical mixer. We shall collect our reward. Okay, we now got four XP jelly babies. And as a reward, previously we got a an experience obelisk, which means if we eat these, it'll give us the XP. And then we can store our XP in the obelisk. So if we die, we don't lose any of it. Yeah, items get stuck. And sometimes you lose them. That's the only downfall about bees, because they get stuck in the wall. What do we need? 
to add these guys to our, if we put this bad boy here, it appears that this mechanical mixer is not rotating with enough speed. Okay, so we're going to need to figure out a way to make this spin with enough force that we're going to need to mix things together. I don't think... I don't think a crank is going to cut it. Or maybe? Actually, no, I, I don't think. Okay, so I'm going to need to do a separate system for my mixer because I can easily put that back there. If I do remember, we do have an extra water wheel. So we can use that to actually build a separate one off to the side. We'll extend it up. I'm not quite sure yet. But I think that this is where we're going to leave it. This, this, this might be it. So, without further ado, this is going to be the end of the episode. So, thank you everybody for joining me along this journey. And actually learning a thing or two about this mod pack, which I really am enjoying. And it makes me a lot happier to be able to share these experiences with you guys. So thank you very much for all of the support that these videos have been getting. Um, I didn't expect all of these videos to be getting as many views as they have been, even though They've been getting about 100 views each. And for someone like myself with a very small channel, it does mean a lot. And if you're enjoying the content, feel free to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. And so you don't miss out on any future content, make sure you hit that notification bell. So without further ado, I will catch you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.